I'm not going to just move out of my space because we broke up. I'm not just going to give back my Mercedes because it didn't work out. Um, if he if he had wanted them back, would you have, if he had wanted the car back, would you have given it back to him? No. So I'm glad that wasn't the case. That wasn't the case with my situation. But if he wanted it, no, I would not have given it back. I would have been like, you have to wait till the lease term is up. And when that is up, then, you know, everything is over. But you gave was this it, to was me. The car in his, was the car, was the lease in his name? Yes. Uh, and same thing goes for the loft. If he had wanted the loft back, would you have given it up? No. Was it, is the loft in his name? Yes. How would you have stopped that? I was not going to go anywhere, like, period. I don't know. You're going to have to figure it out. Obviously, this is the ugly side of me, and so I'm grateful that didn't happen between us, but... Well, I'm, yeah. just, I'm just saying legally, legally, I mean, I mean I'm not... I'm not passing a judgment either way. I'm just kind of curious as to the mindset. It's like, you know, because see, I often hear women say this kind of stuff after an, an engagement breaks up. They don't feel like they should give back the engagement ring. Um, yeah. But legally, it's a gift given in the contemplation of a marriage is a conditional gift. Legally, you can't keep it. You're not legally required. So in your case, it sounds as though he didn't ask, but you're saying if he asked, you would have fought him for it. Of course. Oh, at, least, oh, okay. at least the first uh like three to six months um i feel obviously he didn't fight for it but if he was i would have been like no you gotta give me time like not from one day to the next i'm gonna not have anything you know what i mean and well i, I guess what, I, what saying, i'm not what i'm saying is if he just said hey I, I need i want this space back and i want to be clear you're saying you wouldn't have given it up under any conditions or you would have said i need 30 60 days to move out I would have needed more than 60 days. He would have had to wait until I was well and able, but I feel like um, I would have been fair. And three months is expected. And I feel like six months is a gen like really- Expected by, uh, expected by whom? By me. And, and I feel like just a proper thing to do as a man of like high caliber, well, you know well, what I mean? Well, well, so this is why I think where you're getting some of the pushback because- Welcome to the Jermaine Hall Show, man. I just showed y'all a clip of what entitled looked like to me. I, I personally believe she is the definition of terrible when it comes to the thinking of women, man. Why would you want to take advantage of a man if he's been good to you already? You know what I'm saying? That man is probably in the mind frame of, you know what, I signed up to take care of this woman. She my little sugar baby. But now the relationship is over. They was together five years, so there's probably still some feelings there. Mm -hmm. But dog, you done moved another dude into my crib, driving my car, I bought you, or leased out for you. I'm taking my stuff back, what you doing? Um, yeah, I'm taking my stuff immediately, expeditiously. <laughs> I'm taking my shit I'm back. I'm talking about like- It's leased and it's all in our name. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there'll be somebody there. She she's said, she said she'll fight us uh, over it. Mm. You ain't got a leg to stand on like Kevin said. You got a leg to stand on because <laughs> legally it's all in my name. And baby, if you can't hustle and get it on your own, after the breakup, it kind of says this was a conditional gift. It seemed a little mental to me because like, how do you think Unstable. that you can keep mentally somebody's stuff that is not in your name? Yeah, for real. What she's describing, bro, is pretty much what we, they're probably going to say later on. It's a relationship, but she don't want to be in the relationship. You want these relationship things, but nope, I ain't with you. And then she keeps saying, don't equate Coochie to it. I didn't do this for Coochie. Okay, well, what is he getting out of paying $5,500 a month for your shit? Mm, and y'all not together. And by the way, that ain't your shit. <laughs> that, which is not your <laughs> I mean, I, he need to put her on out of there. You know what I'm saying? But we're going to get on into this next clip, man, see what else she talking about. I know it's some more crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. She, she didn't let, she leading y'all women astray out here. <laughs> because it just sounds like there always has to be like a financial component in order for you to. I think that a man should take care of a woman. I feel like once I, once I choose the man that I want to be with, I am now his responsibility. I do feel like that. Right. Mm-hmm. I kind of I kind of do agree with that to a certain extent in the sense that like if I'm in a relationship with a woman 
and she's going to be, you know, taking care of the kid and she's going to be home all day and she's just basically going to be doing that. Like, I mean, my situation is very different because my girl makes a fuckload of money. But I, I understand that prerogative that, like, maybe I could imagine being in a relationship where if the girl's not bringing anything to the table, but she's taking care of the kids, she's the, the she takes care of the house, she cooks, she cleans, et cetera, and I'm sort of, like, paying her way through life as a result of that and we're in a relationship – that's not how my relationship is, but I could totally understand that that is pretty much how relationships have worked like all throughout history. The man goes off and wins, makes money. The woman stays home, takes care of the kids. That's fine. That seems like a very, very common setup. But like you, you want that, but then you don't want to be at home taking care of the kids. You want to be running around fucking other guys for money. Fucking for money? I don't fuck for money, but... Whatever. Um, nor am I against women who fuck for money. Um, but I do think that men... Yeah, I think that if you have money and you're if you have money and your interest is woman, women, mm-hmm. whether it be fucking or that you like them for eye candy, I don't know, whatever your interest is around women that you should cater to that, cater to them, like take care of them. I only want men around me who really fuck with women. You know what I mean? I only want men around me who are really interested in women that really want to take care of women. Just women in general. Like some people donate to charity. You think that like a guy's charity should just be just women, just all women. I guess. <laughs> I don't know about a charity, but right. I just feel like, yeah. I, I feel like, you know, the women's rights movement that we've, like, watched play out through all, all throughout our life where, you know, women have basically been, like, fighting against so much of what you're kind of talking about where like you know women want to have their own careers they want to you know be considered equal to men they want to they want to I not stand, feel like they have to stay home i never stood in none kids. of the marches right i never stood in none of the marches i'm not for that um i think that i'm still a feminist because i believe women should do whatever they want to that do. was gonna be my question do you consider yourself a feminist because this kind of seems like fu- not fully. yeah not fully because i still think that you know personally my beliefs are women are you know a man is a little bit higher than a woman let's face it you know be real like men why because you got i just you guys are stronger could work longer make more money This woman just said she gonna teach her son to shell out money on women too. Basically, she yeah. telling him it's okay if a girl break up with you, leave. You keep funding that situation even though you're not getting nothing out of that. You can't afford a woman, so don't. I thought she said it didn't have nothing to do with money, but all we keep hearing is financial gain. It's all about money, man. We don't keep hearing nothing but financial gain. Because she ain't said nothing about emotional attachment to the dude at all, right? Right. Well, that tells me she don't even care about the dude. Just how much bread do you got? And that you're willing to spend. And that you uh, that you're willing to spend on me and my my man, my new man, by the way, and my son. Well, she a pimp type. She so, pimp type. <laughs> can we even be mad at the game? I can't. We can't even be I mean, mad at see, the See, that's game. another way to look at it. Can I really be we mad at the game? We can't be mad at the game. I'm sick of it. I don't like As that this is the, the the woman that's out here influencing a bunch of women out here. But there's so many dudes out here. Because we're going to run into it. But it's so many dudes out here, squares, is what I like to call them. And and they could argue, bro. If you ain't got it, just say that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even if I had a billion, I wouldn't be on that. I know I wouldn't be on that. Mm, mm, mm. I am definitely the type of dude that'll wind and down a woman. I love romantic, right? Romantic scenes, and I love doing things for a woman. But you know what I don't love? When the love ain't coming back that way. 
I ain't getting nothing out of this situation. Not conversation, not emotional support, not moral support. I uh, Air now and then, you ain't buying me a little t-shirt or something that's, you know, for me. You ain't uh, pulling up and cooking. She said she don't cook clean or nothing. You know what, though? I wonder if, uh, was she even telling him everything that was going on? Because he might have just been doing all this shit, thinking he just taking care of her. Didn't know about the, all the other shit. You know, I don't want to assume. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I don't want to assume. Kind of seems like it just don't. But make it sense. just seemed too. It seemed like, yeah. It seemed too wild to be true. But it's guys out here like this. Indeed, it is. It's guys out here like this, and we're gonna go to the next clip, man, and see what else she's talking about on here. I'm sure it can't be no worse than what we done seen. <laughs> That's crazy. That's uh, uh, maybe it is, but we'll see. See what they got. This is from the No Jumper podcast. That was Kevin Samuels previously. So we're going to see what the no her other podcast was like. This is what the world is glorifying right now. All the big platforms. Plus your old dude, because the reality is, is that when you're young, when you're in your 20s, you're not earning that much money. And you're probably investing a lot of your time into stuff like, you know, college or learning a trade so that you can earn more money in the future. So then you end up in a situation where like no hot 20 year old girl is going to want to fuck a even hot 20 year old dude because they just are not at the stage in their life where wherever it's like if all a woman has to offer is pussy and all the dude has to offer is money then you end up in a situation where it's all like 40 year old dudes fucking 19 year old girls which i mean hey more power to you but don't you realize that this is kind of like a distortion of society because then who the fuck is the 20 year old dude gonna be having sex with the 20 year old dude is gonna be focusing on getting money and that's what i feel like young men should do i don't i feel like when men focus on women when they're young especially like 20s and they focus on fucking a lot of women a lot of times and i'm saying this from experience from people that i know they don't get many places why because they get hype off of pussy or mm. whatever they get so i feel like men 20 years old 21 obviously you should fuck who you can because you're a man but at the end of the day i don't think that your focus should be fucking women and i think women should you know you talk that. to older men because that you're gonna learn you're gonna get what you need you're gonna get assistance i mean oh, you gotta so. she just told my daughter who's that age to focus on 40 year old plus men so she can get money out of them, assistance. Boo this woman. <laughs> and 20 year old dudes don't have sex. Focus on getting money so you can give it to random women when you get older. That's crazy, dude. I mean, forget, the, forget finding love, forget building pure relationships that mean something. Get Go get the money so you can give it to us. That's what she said. Mm, yes. Not something I'm gonna run the other way from. I tell you that. <laughs> you don't want that type of lifestyle, yeah, man. Nah. Why not? She, Blue Jasmine, said it. Yeah, no, nah, don't know dude want it. Well, nah, I ain't gonna say. We can't say don't know dude want it because apparently it's a dude out there it's wanting a dude it, right? Dude right now for her. <laughs> I tell you what, in my right mind, I don't want it. I can't do it. I'll be stressed the fuck out every week. All right, let's see what else we got. <laughs> because it just sounds like there always has to be like a financial component in order for you to I think that a man should take care of a woman I feel like once I once I choose the man that I want to be with I am now his responsibility I do feel like that right mm -hmm. I kind of I kind of do agree with that to a certain extent in the sense that like if I'm in a relationship with a woman and she's going to be, you know, taking care of the kid and she's going to be home all day and she's just basically going to be doing that. Like, I mean, my situation is very different because my girl makes a fuckload of money. But I, I understand that prerogative that, like, maybe I could imagine being in a relationship where if the girl's not bringing anything to the table, but she's taking care of the kids, she's the, the she takes care of the house, she cooks, she cleans, et cetera. And I'm sort of like paying her way through life as a result of that. And we're in a relationship that's not how my relationship is, but I could totally understand that that is pretty much how relationships have worked like all throughout history. The man goes off and wins, makes money. The woman stays home, takes care of the kids. That's fine. That seems like a very, very common setup. But like you, you want that, but then you don't want to be at home taking care of the kids. You want to be running around fucking other guys for money. Fucking for money. I don't fuck for money, but um, nor am I against women who fuck for money. Um, but I do think that men... Yeah, I think that if you have money and you're if you have money and your interest is woman, women, whether mm -hmm. it be fucking or 
they, you like them for eye candy, I don't know, whatever your interest is around women, that you should cater to that, cater to them, like take care of them. I only want men around me who really fuck with women, you know what I mean? I only want men around me who are really interested in women, that really want to take care of women. Just women in general. Like some people donate to charity. You think that like a guy's charity should just be just women, just all women. I guess. <laughs> I don't know about a charity, but right. I just feel like, yeah. I, I feel Everything is money with this chick. Yeah, I mean. Everything is money with this chick. Nigga introduced her to the lifestyle, now all she think about is money. My Somebody chick. need to go love that child. <laughs> Somebody needs to love on her, man. I really see her losing, thinking that it's all about bread. Money yeah. can't buy you some of the most precious things in this world. That's a true and proven thing. Like, and I don't get why people are so mad. I'm like, damn, can a bitch get her bills paid and just chill? Like, right. I don't get it. I don't get it. Can you help me understand? I think that, like, you on that podcast, to a lot of people, myself included, sort of just, like, personified everything that's wrong with women all in one. It's okay. just like one quick clip that just really exemplified everything that men are scared that women are becoming, mm -hmm. which is not really that fair because you're just one woman. You only speak for yourself, really. But yeah, it definitely, no, I think. I speak for well, the city uh, girls, the pretty girls, and the hot girls. There's a lot of other girls, too, for us. sure, yeah. But I mean, I think it's like when you look at like why Kevin Samuels is popular now, why Fresh and Fit are blowing up, I think it's because they just majority of men are broke the majority of men are <laughs> seeing the sexual marketplace turn into something where only rich guys are being rewarded and guys are expected to just like give so much to women who basically like don't have anything to offer or aren't really like contributing or becoming part of this it's like the standard for men is becoming so high whereas the standard for women has sunk so low I don't think so. It's just kind of like a bizarre. I don't reality think it. How has it sunk? I don't think that it's sunk low. I think from the beginning of time, men have always been the ones who were set to, you know, get the money and bring it back to the woman or the household in which the woman just took care of. You know what I mean? Right. Um, so I don't think that that women have. You know, I mean, it's pretty privileged. You know, if you're beautiful, if you have good pussy, if you know what I mean, you're in the industry or around these people, if you have some sort of intelligence, you're going to get what you want in life. But in a, a previous generation, I think that the average woman would have been ashamed to acknowledge that, like, basically the main thing that she's bringing to a relationship is just good pussy and looking good. I mean, but the truth is the truth. I know. And in a way, that is the interesting thing is that it's like women now are realizing the value of their own vagina and that they're choosing not to just be like groupies and to just go fuck a rapper for free. Exactly. Instead, they're choosing to like, OK, I'm going to like actually sort of exert some pressure to get something material out of these guys. So that they're not used. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I feel like the more men you have sex with, the more your value goes down as a woman. And so if you're walking away with absolutely nothing, then what have you done? Mm. 15 minutes of what? Night but but I do. I just feel like if you're going to give me something, you cannot take it away. From, like, you, it's not snatchies. Like, it's not like Indian giving. Like, no, you're not taking it back. Like, I don't get how that doesn't make any sense. Like, if somebody buys you a gift or if someone gives gives you something, like... Okay, in some things, you're right, because like if, I, if we're dating and I buy you a watch, and then we break up six months later, and you say you gave this to me as a gift, I'm pretty sure that like legally, okay, it's your watch. I gave it to you as a gift. And I mean, certainly if me and my girl, if, if my girl left me, I don't have the right to say like, oh, the, I mean, maybe the wedding ring is one thing because we haven't gotten married yet. But, you know, I don't get to say, oh, hey, give me all those Gucci purses back or whatever. Because I feel like that's more simp behavior. So my thing is I want to change the culture, the culture around the word simp. And I feel like men who do not take care of women or if they have money and they're not in their community doing what's best for the people around them, the women, which is, I feel like, yeah, that's a simp to me. Like, if you don't think that it's okay to to help women out or to cater to women, then to me, that's a simp. Like, you're not a man. Like, men are here to do that, to work and to help women. Either but, they're women or if they're single, other women, or I just feel like that's your duty as a man. 
to just help random women that you're maybe not I even mean, sleeping with? It doesn't have to be a random woman from the street, but women that you have interest in, women that you, you know what I mean? You have something in mind for them. Even if it's, even if you have, you have sex in mind, but you don't get sex, I feel like you should still, you know, put forth. I mean, I feel like the thing that you're describing is a relationship but you like don't want to actually be in a relationship. You just want to like get the benefit of being in the like, relationship. What type of dude is with her? And I know there's dudes out there, but it couldn't be me. I couldn't have a chick that's with me, but another dude paying our bills. That would automatically tell, it would make me feel like less of a man. You can't take care of your own woman. Why you got a woman if you can't take care of her? And then finessing. That's a pure form of finesse because dude, she, the dude in the other in the long clip, if you go back and watch the No Jumper or the Kevin Samuels interview, you'll see that she says her dude said they stacking bread. What is this other man thinking that's paying these bills? Like, I really want to hear from him. I want to interview him because I don't get it. Why would you be paying the bills of a woman that is clearly on in on national platforms? Telling everybody, I'm just out here to get these dudes bread. And you gonna give it to her? Your hard-earned money? Nah, bruh. Nah. I think I got another clip here I wanna play. Um, because it's relevant to the cause. Uh, she's irritating. <laughs> she is irritating. Hating. Not to the point to where I can't stand her. I really want to understand why she like this. Why are you even like this woman? Like you you can't be like this in real life. Like this can't be it for you. I would say moral compass has something to do with it, but I don't know this woman in depth enough to say that she has no moral compass. I want to say that she needs she does need better friends. Well, I don't know. She went on to say that some of the friends said don't teach her son this. So they must got some common sense. But then again, common sense ain't common. I'ma just I'ma just let it ride for right now. You know what I'm saying? Uh on my way out today, what I want to say, women, ladies, this ain't it. The state of relationships is already bad enough with the trauma that we have amongst each other. Uh, the trauma that we, we drag from the past into new relationships, it's hard enough work just trying to get through that. But to take on a mind frame of let me take, 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 take from my partner or from whoever you're dealing with and not give nothing back, it's going to end all bad. One day you're going to look up and not have nobody around that even cares about you enough. To, to help you back up in a bad situation because for her, I foresee, she just said right now, she can't even move out the crib and be straight. She can't even move out because she ain't got it. So he basically carrying her and I don't know how she ain't got it when she just said he been paying for it for over six months. Anybody come over here and pay all my bills for six months, I'm all the way up. I done stacked up to the point to where I can go double the space I'm in. You know what I'm saying? So I just don't get it. Uh, that's all I got for y'all, man, on the Jermaine Hall show. Y'all leave in the comments what y'all think about this lady's mind frame. If y'all against it or y'all for it, just put it in the comments, man. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. You know what I'm saying? Mess with your boy. I'll be right back at y'all with the latest reaction videos for some of these other videos I done found disturbing and funny all at the same time. I love y'all. I'm out of here. Salute.